Hey, I'm back. All right, so during the 1994 midterm elections, Newt Gingrich became a pretty big name around the country for doing something pretty incredible. During the election, he and the rest of the Republican Party were able to sway 54 seats in the House and win eight seats in the Senate as a result of shifting their focus from small issues to some key large issues. Later on, Newt Gingrich was asked, how is it that you won so many seats all at once? And the answer was pretty simple. Newt said, I focused on hunting antelope instead of hunting mice. See, lions can hunt antelope or they can hunt mice. For a lion, it takes a lot of energy to go out every day and consistently find enough mice to eat to be able to survive. But if a lion focuses on taking down an antelope, it takes a lot less energy in aggregate and allows for far greater results a lot sooner in being able to consume enough calories for them to survive. This applies to a lot of different areas, but especially to business. In my business, we have a saying called, uh, when people focus on small things too often, when they focus on uh, small issues that don't matter, we call it majoring in the minors, meaning you're spending a lot of time worrying about things that don't contribute at all to your end result. So if you're out there trying to do something, whether it's in business or your personal life, and you're constantly filling your head with small worries, small concerns, you're never able to progress. And in fact, a lot of folks are focusing on getting really good at hunting small things, fixing small problems, or doing small achievements that in the end aren't going to add up to giving them what they actually want. I'm gonna give you a great example of this. Uh, back when I was in the banking industry, there was a program right when I started work called Hogan 3270. It was a DOS-based program that most of the banks in the country used to move money around, look at account information, even at one point open accounts and do transfers. Well, Hogan 3270 was an extremely difficult program to use unless you spent the amount of time necessary to learn it. Now, within my first two years of banking, I probably spent hundreds of hours learning how to operate this DOS-based program. That made me valuable to the bank for that particular program at that particular time. But guess what? Just a couple of years later, the bank bought new technology. They came out with a Windows-based program that facilitated all of those complex tasks that we needed to do with just a click of the button. Obviously, Hogan 3270 is not a piece of skill that I can currently use in my life today. And a lot of people have spent a lot of time out there in the professional world getting good at things that will not actually allow them to achieve what they want to accomplish in the end. So if I can boil it down, leave you with one quick message, hunt antelope, not sheep, or not mice, <laughs> not sheep, hunt antelope, not sheep. What are the one or two skills that you can spend a lot of time on that will pay you dividends for the rest of your life? That's it. Hope you have a great week.